Hi guys, in this video I'd like to show you how to print a single character or a string at the given coordinates with the help of the game.h, a very basic console game library dedicated for the beginners who want to write their own games. And this is actually the body of the library itself, which I've written recently. And now let's get to the point. So first thing we need is to include game.h header file and create a main function. You might not be bothered about uh, including the stdio and all the other headers for they are already included in the game.h. And now we return return oh, return 0. Uh, so the first thing we have to do is actually to initialize the screen by calling the init screen function. And before uh, to uh, exit the program have to we have the code leave function in order to, to restore either Linux terminal or Windows console to their default uh, settings. Well, the Windows console is not really uh, restored correctly for now and that's because I don't have a Windows machine and only using the Vine emulator but maybe one day that would become uh, appropriate actually. Okay, and now uh, in order to actually print something to the screen we have to use thing called the screen buffer and this is the simple array of characters declared in the game.h function so as far as we uh, actually put at some index uh, some value and then uh, call the refresh screen function which is defined over here in that case we would uh, actually see the character at, at the exact uh, coordinates of the screen uh, where we would actually want want it to be there. Okay, so now let's define the position x say equals to 10 and uh, also position y equals to, well, say 15 it's probably nice. And now int destination index is calculated using the simple formula we need multiply the position y by the map width constant which is defined over here in the game.h so the uh, oh sorry sorry not the map width s the screen width I'm sorry screen width yeah defined over here at the very beginning of the game.h and then simply add position x like this and what we need to do now is simply say that the screen array indexed by the destination index uh, well let's assign the value of a to that particular index and refresh refresh the screen after and now uh, let's actually uh, okay sorry just was a bit of tests here and now let's compile and run this program print print c minus o minus o print and if it compiles and if it compiles, then run it. Print. Okay, and we see our A character at the, at the exact coordinates of X is equal to 10. So this is the column number 10 and the row number 15 over here. Well, and now uh, absolutely the same thing uh, with the S print. Uh, well, using the S print F function, we can actually print the screens. Pr print the strings uh, to the screen uh, and in order to achieve this what we have to do is actually uh, here is our screen array and uh, this particular array is actually the uh, address the particular the physical address in the memory where the first element of this uh, screen array is located actually and uh, by adding uh, some value 
to this address we can achieve uh, the desired destination index so uh, if here we just add our destination index like so and say print some string like hello game dot h well in this case we should have see okay I'm sorry s print f for sure in this case we should have seen our hello game dot h at the particular given coordinates and basically by uh, shifting these values to whatever actually like say eight yeah we would be moving around we, we would be moving this string around the screen and now just to give you an example of how it works on Windows uh, well basically absolutely the same and for this purpose I'm using this cross compiler over here and so I just compile the absolutely the same program and as you can see it compiles just as under a Linux native compiler and now just to actually uh, open this file uh, to demonstrate it well okay it probably just closes immediately okay so to avoid this uh, I'd like to add a little get char function over here so it would wait for the user input before exit and now let's compile this one more time and run and we see our string printed at the particular coordinates exactly as it was on Linux over in here. Well guys, this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it or find it useful and I wish you to have a good time with experimenting on this uh, uh, console game library. So if you're a beginner, if you want to try some write some your own games well in this case this library is probably what you would like to consider as a beginner well at least I am as a beginner really uh, like satisfied with this uh, with this particular implementation it's not really that good but you can play around with this with it and learn something and probably just to have fun and I think that the main in programming is actually having fun okay guys See you next video. Have a good time.